Welcome to chapter three, Yokoso. Before we start, as always, here's a quick explorer expedition trait update. Uh, I have 10 attack, six harvesting, one attack speed, and one survival architect. I'm gonna turn this a little bit down because I can't hear myself, honestly, in my own headphones. All right. So uh, that is that is what I have for my traits, and we are about to challenge chapter three. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's essentially the same thing as chapter two, except uh, I go one step a little further and craft some stronger walls. Uh, do you really need it? Probably not. Uh, but that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. I will I will go over challenge mode. Uh, trust me, we'll do challenge mode. <laughs> For now, uh, let's do chapter three and uh, and get into it. Uh, so first, because of survival in, uh, architect one, we have our um, uh, axe and pickaxe. Uh, and then we're gonna move our stuff around as well. And then ideally, uh, I would like to find iron at the base. That doesn't seem to be the case, but we do have some trees. So, uh, like the text guide uh, suggests, uh, we're going for 14 logs and uh, some leaves. Uh, we can go outside and we'll most likely find some iron over here. And we only need five at the start. So, uh, <laughs> RNG, please. I think that's four. Oh no, we got five puggers! Alright, we got five iron. Uh, which is what we need. And then we need 14 logs, so we're just going to uh, chop some trees down, right? As an abundance of trees. We'll take a look at the cash up update later. Right now we're doing uh, Misty Island. Okay, so ideally, you know, if um, if you can't, if you don't move away from your base, that's uh, really good. But if you have to go out, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we're going to craft our work table and our steel pickaxe, like in chapter two. All right, so far so good. Pretty standard stuff. Um, and then we're going to go two maps over. So we can find some gold. Uh, because at this point now, we're just trying to get our gold tools. Or we're trying to, you know, get some more iron as well. Uh, we have some mushrooms here. Uh, it's always really good, a good idea to uh, kill any birds around you. Um, harvest maybe some trees for some uh, materials, you know, some herbs, some, some mushrooms. Uh, the birds are nice for the eggs and caterpillars uh you also want to make sure that you that you know the these things i don't know i don't know what these things are but uh the, the bunnies and these for leather uh we do want to make leather bags ideally uh so in at the start and the boar too uh it's a good idea to kill these uh you don't need a weapon honestly uh but try to get six leather as well so you can make at least one leather bag when you return to the base. Um, okay, yeah, we have seven. Uh, we got some meats as well. We're looking for... I don't know, like gold-wise? <sighs> the guide says ten. I'm not really going for the overload sword. I'm going for the... Uh, I, I like going for the bastard sword. To be honest, but I guess for the sake of this guide, uh, we'll go for the overload. And yeah, we're just trying to get as much gold, as much iron as possible, honestly, whatever we can find around us. Um, logs and leaves, we still need a little bit more, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and grab that. Uh, it's stronger, but the bastard um, it has better range, which is why I like it uh, a bit more. 
Uh, we should be... No, no, no. We need 16 leaves. This is why you double, always double check. Oh, look at all those leaves. Always double check the guide. Uh, we got some bananas. We got some more mushrooms here so we don't go hungry. Uh, and then we're going to start crafting everything, right? So industrial workshop, right? One, two, three, four, five. Or the work table. Um, bam. We got a campfire for cooking. Bam. We're also going to make a palm tent. Here's a nice uh, tip. I don't think I said this in the chapter two guide, right? But put your palm tent like right to the, in the middle of your campfire and your work table. That way uh, you can heal up your acting power. And it's raining right now and I really want a rain water filter. But I'm also trying to explain this. But you can heal your acting power as you cook and as you craft, right? That is, uh... That's the play. I also don't want to go hungry. Oh, oh, we have, we have water already! Oh my god! I can make some boiled pork. Boiled pork on day two, Pog? Uh, we're going to put that on one. There we go. And then we're also going to get our gold tools here. One, two. Bam, bam. We got our gold tools as well. And uh, pretty easy peasy so far. Let's also get ourselves a leather bag. All right. Open ourselves a leather bag here. And a weapon. Uh, again, for the sake of, I guess, this guide... Uh, I'm going to make the overload sword. Okay. It also says rope sandals. Eh, you don't really need those. We can get better shoes later. Um, we're already on day three. Um, we, we can go tink tink. I don't know. We could start on day four to six, you know, and uh, we, we could tink tink and uh, try to get some lava stone, I guess. Uh, Lava Stone is uh, three maps over from the base, right? Uh, definitely use the world map as much as you can. Oh my god, we have, we have a blue kitty. Okay, blue kitty. Blue kitty is kind of pog. It's kind of pog. Uh, you definitely want to kill the blue kitties because the feather shoes are insane. Unfortunately, we got unlucky there. Uh, only one of the claws. You need uh, four of each. Um, so that is that is unfortunate. But we're going to already just start on the Lava Stone and start mining the Lava Stone with our gold pickaxe. We're looking for eight here, right? Um, I guess I probably should have put this on the... G oh my god, that, that guy hurts! <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, without armor, um, these these guys hurt. Oh my god! But we got oh we got gold too. We got a, a, just straight up gold bar. That's crazy. That's crazy. That'll be useful for later on when we make our walls. That's basically three gold saved. Uh, no space in between the uh, the chapter. So we're just going to um, get started very early here and um, yeah, just start mining the lava stone. Our goal is eight because we want for our dual bow gun, our enchanting table and the hand drill. And we have 10. So we're we're already very much chilling. Right. Uh, we can go ahead and make some more boiled pork. And then uh, we're back here at our base for for night three. Uh, there's a lot more mobs, okay? There's a lot more mobs. Uh, it's okay if they, if they, they can, they can all, like, you know, uh, surround your base. Uh, don't worry about it. Like, you're not going to, you're, you're, you're not going to f fail on the first invasion. Uh, but there's a lot of them, as you can tell. There's, there's a lot. Compared to, uh, compared to chapter two. Significantly more mobs. And challenge mode is only going to get harder. But that's basically it. Like, that, I mean, that wasn't that hard, right? It wasn't that difficult. Um, and then we can, I think, already get started 
Uh, I don't really know how much iron I have, honestly, but I probably need, like, a lot more. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough iron. Uh, so, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna... <laughs> we're done with the first invasion. We need more iron. We need more gold. Uh, we actually have uh, more leather because we killed the blue cat. So... We're gonna craft ourselves a second leather bag. Uh, but you need ma space in your main bag in order to craft more leather bags, so just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, you know, three maps over. We need more iron, we need more gold. And I think, I mean, on lava stones, I think we're pretty okay because we're very much ahead right now. We're very much ahead. So in terms of the guide, we, we wanna focus on our iron and stone we can kind of just like go over uh also we do need we want more blue kitties right we want more blue kitties uh, so we can get those feather shoes more meat is always nice get some gold on some iron How do you offer the uh, yeah, yeah? How do you offer the the dust? You just hold NPC chat on the crystal. Any one thirty ring you can re fodder into reinforced Galix? Not that I'm aware of. All right, so more iron here, more gold. That's our goal right now. Just some iron and gold. We're gonna need a lot of these later on. Uh, we also need more lava stones, right? But um, you can also just worry about that after the second invasion, after night six. Uh, you don't need any any like structures, any walls. Uh, just make sure that you're you're topped up on food, right? There's another blue kitty, very nice. Uh, and the bird is now targeting us. We should be fine. This is our HP is going down. But uh, yeah, we should we should be we should be okay. Should be okay. We're fine. We're fine. Got a lot of meat. Okay. Um, we're still one claw short, unfortunately, from the. Oh, but there's another blue kitty. Okay, well, we got our feathered shoes, boys. Wow, that cat hits hard. Yeah, okay, and one claw, yeah, that's, that's all we needed. That's all we needed, We're and we're good. We're good to go. Our health is a little bit low, uh, but it's okay, because nothing else can really hurt us right now. So, more lava stones, more iron. Uh, we need this for later on. We got our, our feather shoes, which is awesome. Um, and right now, our main goal is to get that engineering work table. Again, nothing new compared to chapter two. Engineering work table, right? We want our dual bow guns, our alchemy pots, so we can make our whetstones as well. Destroying some of this regular stone for more stone is uh, not a terrible idea. So... Uh, in terms of iron, what are we at right now? 45? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all we need. But, um, it's still pretty early to go back, to be fair. We're still on day five. We can go back, like, starting day six, you know, and prepare for the invasion. Uh, we can also make another leather bag, right? Because we have ten leather, so we can, we can do that as well, which is really nice. Uh, we're, <laughs> we have plenty of meat. So, uh, I guess we'll just go back now. Grab some more water here. Um, let's see. We can throw this away. We're going to we're going to grab some more water. I'm going to craft another leather bag because I need it. Um Let's do the food first.
challenge mode once a day try? Uh, no. No, you got 10 tries per day. That includes challenge mode. You just have 10 tries in general. Okay. So we got plenty of food right now. And, uh... Let's see, in terms of structure, we want our engineering work table. So we have a bunch, we have all of our iron right now. Bam, we created that. We want the alchemy pot, right? Because we want to be able to craft our whetstones. Get ourselves the buckets. Go over here by the waterfall. Click NPC chat on the waterfall to fill up the bucket. Right, go back to structure. Uh, what the? Oh, I didn't craft the bucket. Lamau. Okay, let's do that again. Like NPC chat to make the water bucket and then we can make our alchemy pot so we can make our whetstones I go with like 10 right now uh, you can craft more later if you'd like um, I go like up to 20 but like 10 for now is fine we're also gonna make our shoes right because we we killed the uh, the blue kitties for this and then we can just drop the rest because we don't really need it it's filling up um, it's taking up space in our inventory so now we have the double jump right pretty pog um, from here, we also need our dual bow gun, right? Yes. Let's not forget, uh, our, our main weapon that we're going to be using. And we can, uh, say goodbye to the, uh, the sword. We don't need the sword anymore. And we're pretty much good. Yeah, pretty much good. We can go into armor. We have excess material. Uh, see if we can make anything uh this is the armor i like the heavy armor battle suit right and i believe we can make this uh so bam there we go this offers uh extra attack a lot of defense so it's very very solid and then uh we'll get the we'll grab the lantern hat because we have the powder from the lava stones um yeah let's, let's go grab that real quick we need one more leather, and leather pretty much drops from like almost every any mob early on. The rabbits, those uh, little like bird things. So I'm gonna go make it the, the lantern hat as well. And um, yeah, we're pretty much set. That's our that's the armor. That that that's literally the armor, right? I uh, highly recommend the shoes. If you can't get the shoes, don't worry too much about it, okay? Uh, you can grab the, like, iron-plated shoes or something. You know, you, you don't need these, but it's just really nice to have. Right? Uh, armor, would highly recommend the armor. Uh, whatever hat, but, like, the armor also gives extra attack. So that's going to help you out significantly. Uh, let's also hotkey our whetstones. I'll put that on home, okay? And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to wait kind of like for the mobs to flock around and <laughs> gank them. <laughs> uh, for some reason, wave six do be like easier. I don't know, just then 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 three, you know, or like the second invasion, I guess. But, um, I, th I think that's it. Still have yet to see any tanks. I think that's it. Yeah. From here on out, um, we're, we're just looking for... We're trying to craft our walls, right? So if we go over here to defend, we're just, we're just trying to get our lava stone walls, right? So we need all this material. Um, and again, all this is in the text guide. So we, we need more lava stones. We need a lot of gold, a lot of iron. So... A lot of gold, a lot of iron. Um, we have plenty of stone, so we're we're chilling on stone. So let's go again. We're gonna go three maps. Uh, let's go a different way. I haven't gone left, so let's go three maps away and tr try to find more lava stone and some more gold. Food wise, we're doing pretty well. We're uh, we're, we're chilling on food. But again, like these shoes just, God, they make traveling so much easier. Um, also, what I didn't do is I didn't make a hand drill. Right? So, 
I should have made a hand drill. Yeah, I just noticed that I that I I didn't do that. It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be slower, but yeah, definitely should get the hand drill. So we only need three more lava stones for the uh, for the walls. We don't need to keep you know pounding at it. Um, we're gonna need more gold. We need thirty six gold in total. Uh, so we're at thirty one right now. We're gonna need we're gonna need thirty six. And just some more some more iron. This run actually has a lot of blue kitties. I do not get this many blue kitties in my runs. Uh, iron wise, we need sixty or or halfway there. <laughs> we need we need more iron. Hey, you don't you don't need to keep like hitting the uh, lava stones. Just get as many as you need, and then just kind of get away from there. Our main focus right now is the uh, the iron, since we're severely lacking in iron, and we also uh, need some gold. So usually two maps away, right? You'll be able to find the iron. You'll be able to find some gold. Uh, I can't find any gold right now, though. Probably because I mined it. <laughs> I need some vitamin D, yeah. We are we are iron deficient. <laughs> Give me all that iron. All the iron. We're good on iron. We just need some gold right now. All right. Uh, it's best not to mine during uh, a rainstorm because you will lose your acting power faster. Just keep that in mind. Uh, we should be good. Yeah, no, we're, we're good on everything. We're good on everything. We have the materials we need now in order to... In order to craft our... Uh, our walls. But I make that. We're gonna go to defend. And we have enough space in our bag. Cement powder, we want to make four walls. So, eight cement powders. And as you keep doing this, you know, you're just gonna... It's gonna just get easier for you. Uh, we want 20 of these. It's uh, five per wall. And as you can see, like at no point are we like, you know, sweating or anything like that. Uh, we need 12 of these. Um, I mean, the traits definitely make it a lot easier for you. So that's why it's important that you should be doing this on a daily basis. If you don't, eh, it's gonna be a bit harder, you know, a little bit harder. We can put our, our walls down now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, having them for both night nine and uh, 12 is fine. Uh, we already made all of our armor, but it's kind of like at this point, like after, uh, after night nine, you know, you don't really need armor up to this point. It's nice if you do have some, but yeah, we're gonna check the durability of our items as well. Uh, and you know, you want to make sure we're paying attention to that. We're, we can make the hand drill, you know. This is what I should have done before. But uh, you can replace your pickaxe uh, with the hand drill, right? And then we're also just gonna craft some more whetstones. Get ourselves up to. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Get to twenty, right? You need to use the whetstones, or they? You need to manually use whetstones. Yes. All right. Well, we, I mean, we have plenty of stone, so we're just gonna go overkill here, and <laughs> I'll just grab thirty. Yep. And what's nice is that there's gonna be a little bit lag here, but what's nice is that you can't um, excessively use your whetstone. So once you're at a hundred, like you can't just use it again, right? Uh, so so that's nice. You you don't waste it essentially. Uh, our walls are down. We have our armor, right? Once again, got ourselves a hat. Doesn't really matter which one you get. Definitely heavily recommend the heavy armor battle suit. 
and then the uh, the feathered boots uh, if you, again if you can't get the feathered boots uh, you can't find the kitties or whatever uh, then just grab yourself whatever iron plated shoes should be pretty easy to make right any kind of shoes just for some extra defense um yeah and then um for day 12 that's when the goblin king uh comes out i don't stand too close to him <laughs> he will mess you up okay also uh since we're very much ahead what we could do is craft an attack potion uh so you kind of want to go look at you know find these like bushes on the ground and what we're looking for is uh, we already have our petals. You're looking for two petals. You're looking for a mushroom. And then go to trees and you got to find some herbs. You know? Uh, probably not like a banana tree. But like a, any, any like regular tree. If you go at it enough. You should be able to find an herb. Uh, yeah, there you go. We got an herb. And we can make ourselves an attack potion for day 12. Yeah. So we're going to go to potion here. Right, one herb. Uh, that's not the potion. Attack potion, right? We got ourselves a mushroom. And then we just got to make two of those. And bam! We got ourselves an attack increase potion for night 12. And at this point, you just want to make sure that you're... Uh, Alright. <laughs> well then... <laughs> so that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's that's um <laughs> that well that sucks. Uh what was I what was I gonna say? Uh I was gonna say at this point, uh you just wanna make sure that you have enough food at all times. You know, my go to again is just the boiled pork. So just make sure you farm enough meat. Let's see if we can get back in, or do I just have to redo the entire thing? We're back in! Pog! Alright. As I was saying... Oh my god, my inventory. As I was saying, before we got rudely interrupted by you know crashing um yeah just just kind of make sure that you're always topped up on food you know pay attention to your durability uh on your weapon here at this point you know i we have a shit ton of whetstones we can just use them freely as we'd like um and uh yeah we didn't lose our progress thank god not like it really matters for me uh, this is just me just kind of showing like, you know, what we should, what you should be doing. Uh, I already did chapter three, uh, before this. Uh, and here we go. We got this guy again, coming back for, uh, day, day nine. I'm just going to use another whetstone again. And, uh, yeah, just, just make sure you're good on food. Pay attention. My food's all about a, like, you know, it's gonna go rotten very soon, so might want to farm up some more meat. Uh, we have our attack pot here, right? Oh god, I just noticed that the base is half health. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh my god. Bro, they really went at my base. Jesus Christ. It's it's liter literally half health. Well, yeah, I know I crashed. So we're just going to grab some more meat. Right. And then cook some more boiled pork. And at, at this point, like, we're... Like I said, we're chilling. Oh, we don't need that. 
hot keying your items is a really good thing to do. So you don't have to keep clicking. I, I finally just, uh, you know. Oh, cook water. Um, can I cook this together? Nope, that does nothing. Can you cook a petal together? Yep, oh, well, that does nothing either. Can you just cook a petal? Nope, nope. Well, eat all that. Yeah, the Goblin King is, he, bro, he, he does damage. He does damage. You know, you definitely want to stay your distance. <laughs> okay. He, he's not, he is not someone you really want to mess with. Don't just be like, oh yeah, I can, I can just tank everything. Like, no, no, you can't. Uh, yeah. Challenge mode should be 25 days, yeah. My base is dying? I crashed. That's why. I got the good old Nexon DC. And then uh, the monsters just were wailing at my base while I was trying to relug. But my, my stone walls barely took any damage. In challenge mode, challenge mode is basically going to be the same approach, right? I'm going to take the same approach, except we're also going to be crafting towers as well. So when we go to defend, uh, we're going to go for the fireball towers here. So we're going to need more lava stones. We're going to need more gold and a lot, a lot of logs, right? A lot of logs. Got to chop down a bunch of trees. So that's, that's going to be the uh, the plan of attack. And ideally, like, I'm still going to have, like, the same items here, right? Like, you know, the shoes, I guess, don't really matter. But the, the battle suit, right? We're still going to be using the dual bow gun. A lot of logs. Mm-hmm. So main difference, right, between chapter two and chapter three is that there are more mobs, you know, per invasion. I think the, the first invasion, it's not super easy, right? It's not super difficult, but it's also, you know, there, there's a good amount of mobs that, that come uh, in the first invasion, right? And then we're just upgrading our walls to something a, a, a bit sturdier, right? Um, I don't think this is really necessary, but you also just have a lot of time. Like, if I wasn't just standing still right now, I'd just be also getting more lava stone right now and more gold, right? And we would just, like, easily have enough materials to be able to get these walls regardless. Um, so yeah. The text guide is already available, and it'll be available, like, down in the description of the video, as always. And um, I'll also try to do a video on challenge mode once I get a grasp of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, M Magical Miracle Time, I think, is bugged right now. Because I registered for it earlier, and I lost my registration date. Good old Nexon. <laughs> and leave someone soloed Black Mage with a wooden club. Oh yeah, it was Math Cow, right? I'm not surprised, it's Math Cow. After this, get your totem. Congratulations. You did it. Wasn't that difficult. But if you haven't, if you're like trying to catch up, uh, you're watching these videos and you, you don't have a lot of traits, you know, you don't have a lot of points in your traits, it's going to be a little bit harder. Not impossible, but it's going to be harder. 
So um, whether you were just too lazy to do it or you're just, you know, just finding out about this, it is what it is. Um, just make sure you're doing this on a daily basis from now on. <laughs> Get those traits because you're going to need to level up your traits for challenge mode. Are my walls gone? Nope, my walls are fine. They're still there. I wonder if the, the Goblin King is going to like, you know, dash through my walls though. Because apparently he's been dashing through other walls. You know, just uh, collision errors, you know, good old platformers. But uh, here we go. We're going to pop our attack potion. Right. We still have uh, plenty of food. Uh, some of our meat went rotten. It is what it is. It do be like that. We're doing massive damage. Oh my god, dude. What the? I do have one and two attack speed. Again, I don't really know if it makes much of a difference. But I am just lasering down these mobs. And then, obviously, just make sure you're using your whetstones, right? Oh, and there's the Goblin King. See, he's gonna, he's gonna just, he's gonna send out some fire at you. He also like, like those, like those fireballs as well, like the, the honing stuff. I just go behind him, you know, and just mess him up. He does a lot of damage to the walls. He does a lot of damage, but oh, 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 where are you going, bro? What? Hey, hey, what you doing? What you do? Hey, hey the, the walls over there. Oh, see? <laughs> Look, yeah, you see that? Uh, we should be fine, though. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty fine. We're pretty fine. And that's it. That's, uh, that's chapter three. Congratulations. You got your totem. Now it's time to do challenge mode missions and uh, try to get those flame boxes, right? Because you only get one flame for completing chapter three with your totem. Uh, so how do you get more flames, right? Uh, go to the achievement list, challenge mode. There are three different missions that you got to do. Survive 25 or more days, right? I don't know what the difference is. Challenge mode one and two. There's only one. So I, I, I don't, I don't get that. You know, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> but yeah, so you get these Mitra flame boxes. Essentially, you're getting like a certain amount weekly for, I believe it's 10 weeks, right? From when you get the box. So total, you're gonna get 30 flames from this box. Um, defeat uh, the Goblin King 15 times uh, once a day. So this is gonna be for 15, across 15 days. Uh, you're gonna get 50 total flames from this box. And then from this box, you get 20 flames. And to my understanding, you have to cook 25 steak dishes and then cook a masterpiece steak dish and then eat it. So that should be 26 uh, dishes in total. To my understanding. Uh, we'll see how it works. But um, yeah, in total, you should be getting 100 extra flames uh, for your totem. And uh, good luck. I, ho I, ho I hope you get a sick nasty flame. But that that's pretty much chapter 3. And I will try my best to go over ch the challenge mode stuff uh, in, in a future video uh, once I actually understand what I'm doing <laughs> and not dying. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. Big thanks to Rooney, Brandon Lee, Yo MJ, Not Chaos, Eric Gritty, Balloon, Prime Gaming, Cultured Anime, Justice Sue. Restored, Thick Thighs, I Love Apple, Jason, JP, Picklenear, Joshua Alvarez, Mr. On Arc, Restrict, XX Shadow XX234, and everyone giving me money for pizza for being members and supporting the channel. Click that join button down below if you would like to become a member and support the channel. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.